dice que esto se va. Sáquenme la botella que funda para gastarle. Esta noche tú y yo nos vivimos la película. Yo sé cámara, la acción después en mi recámara. En el suelo no se sabe quién ganará. Eso baile y bebé. Es ese puro y retrocede. Que no canta la manera en que tú lo mueves. Solo véate un poquito para mí. Que yo quiero enseñarte lo que yo tengo para ti. Lo que tengo para ti. What is going on, Cowboy Nation? Welcome back to Primetime Studios. Like always, I'm your host, Primetime Phil. And like always, we're going to represent the Cowboys and talk about Cowboy news or lack of their news or lack of their free agency or anything. But the one thing that we're not lacking is my co-host, of course, Game Time Brian. Game Time, what is going on, sir? Primetime Phil, what's I, going on, man? I'm finally out of the weather. I'm not waterlogged. I'm nice and warm and toasty, <laughs> but I'm doing good. How are you doing? And you're pointing you the good? correct way and everything, man. Yeah, you, you well, I was it. looking at the... I was actually paying attention. <laughs> I was like, oh, look at him pointing the right way, man. This, I might have yeah. to use that. I might have to use that. Uh, uh, I like it. I like <laughs> it. So here Dude, we are. I'm looking at the graphics, man. Oh, What's you like the that? bottom? The the bottom in the sense of uh, what part? What part? What like part? what city is it? Oh, this is a city over in Japan, in Tokyo area. Oh, uh, okay. I was yeah. wondering. I'm like, nice. It's nice. A, it's I little, like it. It's a little gorgeous. Yeah. So Japan area. Uh, if you see there, yeah, Japan Coast Guard uh, down in those areas. So yeah, just a nice little, uh, uh, you know, little like photo. It. Threw some lightning in there, uh, just to kind of give it some su uh, substance. But well, you got me on. I my that's my thing. The lightning. <laughs> so you know. I had I had I to like do a it. shout out to you, and then the next one, of course, is going to be one that I did with uh, you know, I was excited. I was telling Brian I got an AI that I, I you know, that I went ahead and just did the photo for, so I could go ahead and, and try to get some stuff, some new things, not just you know figure out stuff through Google and and adapt stuff, but no, you know, I just want to stay fresh. And here we go into the new season, of course, the new Cowboys, but the old Cowboys, the new busted hotness. Bringing back old, you know, mixture of new. Uh, I think that's a combination between the coaches, of course, the the staff itself, and down to the players. Um, of course, you know, you if anybody's watched Game Time's channel, I think, you know, we we've been in big on the backup, the the rotation of what we're getting in, what we're losing compared to what we're getting. We are not getting much because obviously we've had a lot of those guys that came back, you know, but we had a lot of loss. What do you, you know, what do you have to say about these moves? Well, listen, again, I'm going to go back to the beginning. Uh, the, we haven't lost anybody that I didn't want other than Jonathan Hankins. But it, it took me a while to come to the realization that um, we weren't going to do anything. Because our owner is senile, or, yeah, the Muppet, and he, you know, he just can't help himself. I got caught up in it. But again, I never expected, okay. even when he said all in, I never expected anybody top tier. I, I was hoping to get a D lineman. I was hoping to get a linebacker. We did get a linebacker, you know, uh, and I was hoping to bring back Hankins and Gilmore. Hankins is gone. I guess Hankins is the fall guy. For us not being able to stop the run in the playoffs. So that's yeah. all I could think of. And, and to kind of feed off of what you're saying, we were talking about the Joneses. The Joneses are like a bad father that just left, went out for cigarettes, never came back. Uh, just get you all hyped up. Hey, son, I'm going to come to your baseball game. And then he never shows up. Uh, so, I mean, empty promises anytime uh, bad things happen. Oh, I promise things will get better. I promise that it'll, it'll be different next time. This is kind of the uh, the toxic relationship we have with the Joneses. And, of course, we're just throwing their you know our money towards them. Of course, look, look back here, you know. What up, East Side? What up, Ultra Cowboy? What's up, everybody? So when you, yeah, let, let's let's go there actually before you know before we you know, trust me, we have all this uh, episode to be talking about the Joneses. But early in here, we had JJ Vinny Hagen was in here, Jack Meeker, which I haven't seen in a while. Brad Harris, what's up, Jack? Representing JoJo in the house, Mike Aldana, of course, Game Time Brian. And let's see who we got. Here we go. We got going. Wow, back. you jumped up in subs, man. That yeah. was quick. Did I? Did 781, I? baby. Oh, nice. nice. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys. I honestly appreciate that. Like, I'm trying to get trying to get at least closer to, to the draft. Hopefully, I can get closer to 1,000. If not, past the draft. I can uh, get you'll past be over 1,000. We'll get you over 1,000. Uh, Isaac Ramirez, what's going on? Uh, 
Let's see, Twiz is in the house. Twiz with his Eagles having a great offseason, at least. And again, if it's sometimes not the quality, sometimes at least you're making moves, you're improving, your defense kind of had iffy. If he, you know, situations throughout the whole rest at the end of the last year. Of course, the offense had their thing, but you're trying to make improvements. And I think that's the thing that we you can be, you know, it's admirable, you know. But uh, yeah. just something that, of course, the Joneses aren't doing. Uh, Joe so, Davis, welcome, my Joe man. Davis, welcome new, to the new channel. Sub. Thank I, you. Thank you for the new sub. Yeah, I appreciate new people, man. I love it. Coyote um, is driving, and we appreciate you. Crystal Caramel Corn. Uh, East, East Side Herald is in the house. Yeah, East Side's team Evan. is going to be a juggernaut in the AFC. Yeah. I'm just happy that the Houston Texans, and I'm not being funny. I'm happy they're in the AFC because so, ultra. they are good. They are, they are freaking good. And they're going to go out. If they're smart, they'll go get a lights-out receiver. And uh, they're good for them, man. They're going to be the best team in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. I'm I being not funny, too, but yeah, yeah, um, it's one of yeah. those. It's funny because it's true thing, you know. People what like up, funny because it's true. <laughs> Chiz Cowboy, that is an interesting name. I love, every time he comes up, <laughs> I love Chiz. <laughs> What's up, Chiz? <laughs> Vinny Hagen, yo, Vinny. I want to talk to Vinny. Oh, yeah. He goes, unfortunately, Brian, they didn't really do anything you liked. Um, listen, Vinny. You know, I've been saying it. Uh, I'm hearing myself over here. Hi, so hold up here. Oh, it's on my phone. Okay. Like a dick. I'm all like, uh, I'm sorry. I am automatically apologize. No, no, no. <laughs> um, no, it was, it was, it was on my phone. I, uh, that's I okay. I'm getting an extra well, view. I like it. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. Well, I shared it on. Uh, What's up, David? On, uh, oh, okay. On Twitter and uh, so, but I didn't know that it's played. But yeah. Um, Vinny, we knew what was going to happen. I just got caught up in Jerry. But at the end of the day, they really are hanging Hankins out to dry. And I told Mark this. He had called me, I guess, yesterday we were talking. And you know what I feel dirty about? And I'm just going to throw it out there. I feel dirty that uh, Eric Hendricks had to take less money to come to Dallas. Yeah, I feel that's what like, I'm saying. Does it have to be an insult every time we bring anybody in? Why does in? it have to be an insult every time, Phil? Why? It it's doesn't a, have to be. It's the same salary cap. It's the same thing. You're not. I mean, we're only talking about like a few hundred thousand more. <sighs> like, I mean, like we're not talking like, oh my God, two yeah. million. No, 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 it wasn't. We would never have came here if it was that kind of money. <laughs> uh, Freaking I, ridiculous. Yeah, that's how, that's honestly how I it feel. It's like as they come in here, any of those big name agents. Oh, you know. I just they they just don't do their research. You know, Derrick Henry, of course, came out with the when they when they. You know, you know, when he signed with the Ravens, they came out, hey, yeah, what, like, did, did you hear yeah. anything? They were like, no, I didn't hear a single no. word. Um, yeah, they never had any intention of it. I and mean, you know what? It seems like what they're trying to do is go into next year flipping as least amount of switches as possible. Because once you flip that switch, now, I, I still fully intend them to flip the switch on Trayvon Diggs. But again... The, the, because they just re-signed him. You're not going to dodge anything. You just re-signed him to a long-term deal. He should be fine with his knee injury. Mm -hmm. But, um, you I know. Thought, so I thought you, they did you, switch on his. I thought they did. I thought the they did early, but they did not. They were talking about doing it. Then they finally did. The only body they, that they uh, flipped the switch on was Zach Martin. That was the only thing. The so, Joneses um, are like uh, people that go to the flea market. You know, they see a land. They're like, all right. Five dollars. I gave you quarter. What's up, West, you know? and you're just West like, Virginia oh. country boy? What's up, man? So West Virginia country <sighs> boy says, game time, what's our first pick? Tackle or guard or another position? Well, listen, man. Stay tuned on that, West Virginia country <laughs> boy. Um, is it up to us? <laughs> I think this is what's going to happen. I think, I don't think they're going to get the left tackle that they want. Yeah, um, I, yeah, no. So I'm hoping that we, see... I don't know, man. I really want them to go with a Jackson Powers Johnson if he's there. Slide Tyler out to left tackle. Put TJ Bass at left guard. Have Brock Hoffman as your backup uh, guard center. That would be better. I'm telling you, that would be better than what it was last year. Yeah, but, I agree. Um, I agree. Uh, I don't know that they're good. At, I don't know, man. Well, it's I mean, hard. Here's, here's the thing. Like, I really, like, there's... You know, I, I am 
definitely big on uh, Jackson Power Johnson. You know, me and you, you know, the medicals, whatever. Yeah. I don't give a, you know, I don't see a history of injuries. There might have been something that happened there most recently, but there wasn't that history in college. And so that's where, I mean, I may, I may be looking back. I got to look back and, and, and double confirm that. But, uh, but when I look at this draft, I also get excited about a couple of other centers. It's not just the one center. So, I mean, no, if you no, turn around absolutely. and took tackle, and then you took center well, that- in your second or third round, man, you would have a heck of a combo, one, two, that you would be replacing what left well that's why i said um it really all does it really does all come down to who's there if a marius mims is there or a troy fountain out of washington they're both left tackles absolute left tackles day there was, one there was one the yeah, cowboys mims. blog from houston that he was talking about the left tackle out of houston something something paul or something yeah yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. he's a massive guy but his uh, 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 his name is Patrick Paul. Patrick Paul, um, there he, he is, yeah. He does not um, move miss very a game, well 40 at all. 40-something games, yeah. Yeah. The competition I mean, a little bit lower, so yeah. So here's the deal. I mean, so what are we going to do? I don't want to be in a situation where we take a guy and stick him in a position. You know, I'd rather stick Tyler out there. You know what I mean? Like, if you can't get a Fontenot or a Mims, let's say, if they're gone, then... Um, then if if Powers Johnson is there, then you go with them. I think if Mims and Fontenot are there, you you go with them over Powers Johnson only because they're that they're that you know. Well, I mean the position itself. They're that just so much so much yeah. more important as well too. And so like you said, center really does stretch in this draft. There's a lot of centers that you could go with. Um, just breaking down his some of them. You got yeah, we like we talked about Jackson Powers Johnson, then you got Zach Fraser, who's probably gonna be a, a high second. You got Von Prom Granger out of Georgia. And then you have a few you have Bo Lemmer out of Arkansas. Um it really does I mean there I mean there are a lot of guys out there. there so are, um, Wisconsin's I think they have one. Yeah, yeah. Notre Dame. The guy yeah. out of Wisconsin. Um, what's his name? Yeah, um, I mean, those are later later in the draft, but still, guys. I mean, think about when did they yeah. get Tyler Biotish? I mean, what was that, third, fourth rounder? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean. Hmm, I just want to take the best possible guy. David Cowboy says if JPJ has a medical, that is perfect for us <laughs> in the second. Man, if I could yeah, take him well, in the second, I'd be happy. Going on. I'd be happy. Something is going on there. Something's rotten there because he's not even on Mel Kuyper's Well, board. let me ask you a question. With the center hole thing, I, you know, Brock Hoffman coming out, you know, I have my opinion of it. I want to hear what yours is. What do you think about this whole Brock Hoffman? He's like, I, want, I, I feel like I could be the man this year. Yeah, I like it. And I like – that's what I was trying to prepare you for, Phil, because I know me and Phil really like Powers Johnson. But now that he's slipping – it's a perfect excuse for the Cowboys if he's on the clock to yep. not take him. Uh, You're right. That's all I'm saying. And Ultra Cowboys says the same thing. Remember, Mike said this is a draft and developed team. They will ride with Bass and Hoffman. That's why I really think, unless a Mims or a Fontenot is there, I think they're going to move Tyler Smith to left tackle. I really do. Uh, but I think they're going to. I make want that them decision. to move Tyler Smith to left tackle, but I really well, feel like this this coaching Mims staff is, is there, stuck with trying to do the Mims same thing is, as they did yeah. to Zach Martin. You know, go ahead. Mims yeah, is there. It, um, I mean, like if Mims and Fontenot were there, then they're better than Tyler would be a left tackle. <laughs> I mean, Mims is a little bit of a projection just because of his lack of games played in college, but in the games that he did play, I mean, he's an unbelievable r- rare size strength. Speed, yeah, and agility, arm length. He's a perfect weapon. Uh, so that would be the perfect scenario. Keep Hoffman. Uh, move TJ Bass to left the guard. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. so that's the thing. Guard, like, yeah. if you did that, then maybe Bass would be your swing guard, maybe, maybe, which is yeah, good. That's you know, not, which that's is not a good bad thing. thing. That's not so, a bad thing. That's really good. So, I mean, Asim Richards, I mean, they could, he could be in that guard little backup you know, rotation as well, too. Yeah, that's the thing. We like we talked about that last week. That was frustrating. Um, and I believe Tyler that Smith too. Is Ultra Cowboy than any tackles I, in this draft. I believe okay. that too, and that's why it's kind of frustrating because when you look at the body of work that Tyler Smith did his rookie year, 
in in the tackle position that was amazing i mean a very all pro level type of performance and to not and not go okay well now yeah he's our great left guard no man he's an amazing left tackle now getting the guard is a lot easier to to replace compared to a yeah. left tackle and he's already on the team that's why i hope that mims is gone to like pittsburgh or something and Fontenot, who I like as the unbelievable left tackle. Originally, I, I, mean, I kind of hope that they're taken. That way, you watch people. You're going to hear during the draft. Okay, well, they have a plan. They, they, you know, and, you know I, mean, I mean, it'll be like Lindsey Draper or somebody or uh, what's her face, the blonde. Uh, you say, well, you know, Mike McCarthy says the plan is to move Tyler Smith to left tackle. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Man, It'll okay. Jane that's Slater. A, I, I like Jane Slater, but when's the last time Jane Slater has been right about things? In nah. She's about yeah. a 5 to 7% yeah. swinging yeah. Uh, rate. Yeah. It just does not. And nothing against her. They're they're using her in that sense, and that's not yeah, her yeah. problem. But, again, they're not giving her any information. Yeah, there's that AI thing you were talking about, right? Yes, yes. This is the one where I typed it in. I wanted a bounty hunter, Cowboys player in a stadium, and – you know, and and I had a couple of different ones, but I like the view that this one gave, and so I was like, yeah, "Oh, there cool. we go." There it is. There it is. There it, there is. it is. AI, AI. <laughs> <laughs> Sister is uh, as accurate as one year old peeing on the toilet. Slater. <laughs> uh, uh, Slater. <laughs> I thought he was sister. Slater. Oh yeah, yeah. Alter's gonna be at the draft, so <laughs> we'll have to break bread with him, man. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's staying at the hotel not too far from us, so uh, yeah, he's definitely he's gonna nice come looking. Up, yeah, he's nothing... he's gonna come over and hang out. So, ultra, um, yep. Yeah, Howard Dickerson, what's up, man? Figured I'd hop on for a bit, Brian. Always good stuff. Nice, appreciate it. Howard. And dry now. Oh man, Howard, <laughs> it was nasty out there. It was horrendous. Ooh, I like that ultra. I like that. First or round on him. Nice. Um, here's the deal. Um, this is what I want to prepare everybody for. So it's for gearing up for the draft. I think that's the perfect scenario for us. I know Ultra doesn't want to trade away from a, this guy or that guy. At the end of the day, if you move Tyler to left tackle, you put TJ Bass. So I could see not, I mean, what would you, how would you feel about not addressing Offensive tackle. In the, Dude, you know, if you because, give me a badass defensive tackle in there, where like Brian, well, Tom, what the the tackle from um from Texas? What's his Texas. name? Murphy. Yeah, Brian Murphy. Like, um, yeah, you got Murphy, name? and then you that, got Tavondre Sweat. They're, who's they're actually pretty, dropping. Yeah, sweat, yeah. Sweat. Would if you yeah. got him on the second and third, I'd be happy with that. But if you got that first one, and you didn't pick that, but you got a a really good wide receiver, you know, like uh, some kind of weapon. Itself, like one well, of them I that you just like. Down. I cannot, I cannot walk away from that at all. Oh yeah, I would love to trade down. Yep. I want to trade down. That's why I said if you just go with the, I can see now Jane Slater outside the war room. Dallas Cowboys have said that now. Yeah, with the exodus of Tyron Smith, Tyler will go out the left tackle. T.J. Bass will go to left guard, and Brock Hoffman. They plan on running with Brock Hoffman as a starter. I still think they'll draft one. Like a Bo Lemmer. Or Let's be real, man. Jane Slater's going to be there. And she's like, Jane Slater here is reporting. And I went there to ask him, what do they think? And they said, F off. Yeah. We're not giving you our strategy. <laughs> yeah. So I just want that fourth round pick. And I even did a mock draft where we dropped to the. Like, you know, I think it was 28 or something. And then uh, we traded again. See, to me, the, to like 27, 37. the 27 to 20 to 27 to 30 range would be I'd be OK with. But then I traded out of the first to like in the first, I think, to Washington at 37. Okay. So what I ended up having was I had a, a 37. We had our pick in a second. So we had two twos and then we have a two threes. And we got our four. Nice. So that would be nice. That would be nice. But um, just real quick. Yeah, they did. Uh, uh, I no. guess where uh, Brian Schottenheimer was. Did they? What? No, no, no. Uh, no, I was, just, I was just talking about Ultra Cowboy. Ultra Cowboy says, I believe they used their 2025th pick, draft picks to get a fourth round, you know, trade in. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go, Ultra. I could see that. Um, 
<laughs> Ultra Cow, I would be too. Like, don't get me wrong. That's why even on my mock one, I was looking at it and I'm like, I should be responsible. Otherwise, people are like, you can't be picking a wide receiver in the first round. You know, like, <laughs> otherwise you're going to yeah. get comments like in D, you know, people DMing you. Well, like, you know like, what <laughs> I feel about wide receiver. I love it. I mean, if it's. So, I'd, you're I'd you're, you're like the Detroit ones. Lions back in the '90s. You're always just like, let's draft wide receiver every year. Like, well, I mean, <laughs> you know, I'm fine with it. And then, you know, but I like giving you shit. I like just you don't know what me. their strategy is. I just don't know. But anyway, Brian Schottenheimer was at the University of Texas for one reason and one reason only. He's went to look at Johnson, the Jonathan running Brooks. back Brooks. Yeah. Yeah. Jonathan Brooks. Yeah. Jonathan I'd Brooks be okay with Texas. that. I mean, that if you think about it, like second round, we're you're talking. not you're not getting him for this year. I mean, you you know, you already wrote a to- Pollard with one like that. I mean, I guess you could do the same thing, but um, if anything, you're now getting you're him for the next hear, following it year. It was a clean tear. It was only the ACL. Well, wasn't no it, other structural damage? Wasn't it the Dallas's doctor that did the surgery? Yeah, yes, yes. So I mean, that, yeah, I mean, if anybody and, would know, right? Yeah, 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 exactly. Um, Joe Davis depends, but moving back four could get a fourth. Yeah, uh, Joe, we need oh, a fourth round is, pick. That's why I'm saying if you look at it from that perspective, if you drop down, I'm not saying they're going to drop down twice, but if you dropped you know, from 24 to let's say 28 or 29, it doesn't matter. You're going to get a third round pick there. You uh, okay? And then if you drop from there God, I would love that. to the top of the second, you'll get a fourth round. So then you'll have two twos because you're dropping you know, to 37. Then you'll get yours, I believe, at 57 or whatever we pick. I and then you'll get the two threes, and then you'll get your four back. And then, you know, that's the only thing I would say. Who? I mean, who's going to be there at 24 that you have to have? To me, it would be. It if, it's, be if, a, if everybody on a, your board uh, got found no yeah if everybody else got wiped out on your board and you had one guy left that's when you take them you know or one of those defensive ends i'll be honest with you one of those defensive ends is there but jared versus there or the utah i don't know end, jones he's yeah i don't bad. Yeah, I don't know much about Chop Robinson. Maybe Ultra knows uh, more about that. Oh, Leatu Latu. Mm. USCLA, like right? He's there. Um, Can't remember. Oh, yeah, UCLA. UCLA. Yeah, UCLA. He's the best pass rusher out of yeah. the bunch. You got. Yeah. I mean, but that's what I, know, I love. I'm not saying I mean, he's at that D-Lo skill. Is not going to be there forever. I see a Fahoko with some skill sets there. Like that's a lot of similarities. Not not to that level. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to put him at that level. But there's a lot of similarities in the sense of some of the stuff that Fahoko uses. Look at guys. I remember Ultra texting me that uh, we were at the Alabama Pro Day, and I told him that they're not looking at Arnold. Arnold's going to be long gone. But look at a guy like Chris Braswell, uh, like those type of guys um, later on in the draft. So I expect us to get an edge rusher out of this draft at some point. I really do because of D-Law. D-Law can't go forever. They are counting on Sam Williams. You know Dallas but, and their neck injuries, Twiz. You know Dallas and their neck injuries. That ain't going to scare us. <laughs> Dallas needs a true linebacker. Well, it's funny you say that because – you know, I'll be curious to see where Peyton Wilson goes, but you got Peyton Wilson, Edger, you know, Edger and Cooper is actually sliding up into the first round now. Stu, I and, see Peyton um, Wilson. I all I can see is LVE. Like I swear, like it's just a reminder. I think me he's a lot. better though. No, he is. He is don't definitely have the a neck lot. injury, but yeah. he definitely has a, hi- a series uh, history oh, of he, injuries. Oh, he does. So, I mean, but, but he's gone the last two years without. But he has surgery. that can get into the hole the same as LVE showed during college. You know coming out of there so it's you know he didn't you know he would come they in really they really are having high very high expectations with the marvian overshone what the marvian did and just those couple have you seen him in games he, he was he unbelievable good. he looks good oh like, yeah well he did it I hope in the he, preseason well i hope he freaking uh studied his playbook too you know yeah well now he's got to learn a new scheme no, but <laughs> he's he's gonna end up being really, really, really good. Now, he'll ultimately have the green dot. I know Kendricks will have it this year, and Kendricks will be our best linebacker because he knows Zimmer's system. He'll be able to help out Damone Clark. Damone Clark made a statement 
saying when LVE was in the lineup, it helped Damone immensely with getting him in the right position. When LVE uh, got hurt last year, you saw a decline in Damone Clark. It's no coincidence that Damone Clark declined as his buddy and mentor and you know, a guy who's telling them the ins and outs of the position. You can say whatever you want about, uh, about LVE. He was a really good player you know, his rookie year. It just, injuries got the best of him, man. I mean, that's I just think he was all... up down. Like, he had a great year. I mean, when he played, I mean, I think there was only really that one year under Nolan uh, that he, everybody just looked lost. I mean, he looked really, really lost that year. I mean, but for much every year, even when he wasn't – at the top of his game, at least he was at least the mid of the middle of the pack. Uh, he was right. never ever a liability. Me, I mean, there was times, of course, he would get blocked out of it. But man, try getting in front of a three hundred and something pound dude that's running at you and and, and tell me how well you're going to do all the time. Yeah, Twiz wanted overshown. He's saying, he, uh, yeah, he should be fine. I want, um, I want, you know, Wanye Thomas in that secondary as well. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just that's some guys, you know. Everybody needs to relax a little bit. I get caught up. Listen, that's what we do. We mm-hmm. get caught up. I got so many people that are I was so pissed sending off. me. I was so pissed the, off the for Mark those Holmes. two weeks. I, yeah. but, like, I didn't think you were Mark Holmes and Love and Dak. I've already been on the record saying, I don't care who we I I even I texted. Either. Just, just do Ultra. it. What's that? I, I'm with you. I said, let's just do it. If we're going to do it, do it. You know, but I don't care who our quarterback is. Yeah. I just want to win. If it's yeah. with a guy that's not on the roster, then it's if it's with Trey Lance, good, whatever. I could care less. I just said I would like to have them both. Serotonin Cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> Serotonin, what up? <laughs> I want to see what Zim does. Do you with guys their think defense. we draft yeah. a safety this year? I don't think so. This is the year where I can't see that. Um, I mean, to who? I mean, um, Georgia's second uh, safety. I, I think, think next year is the year that yeah. we we'll probably get it with all, with all just, those picks. I just can't look at a safety this year going, "Oh, that's the guy that that that's the guy we should bring in." No, went with all the other positions that are deep. Um, that's I, I, the problem. Yeah. yeah. Um, I like Cooper BB, Vinny Hagen. I definitely like Cooper BB. That's why I said, like, if we didn't, I like Cooper you know, BB as well. Yeah, later, like later if, rounds. Nice yeah. guard. That's the guard. Uh, that would be like a guard you could get later. Yeah, that you could yes. t- take Tyler Smith, move him out, and then you would have a Cooper BB in there, and then you would. Brad, st- and you no have news Bass on Gilmore. As the, no news you know, on Gilmore. Other than a possibility so I, in New England, right? Well, now here's the deal: if he was offered anything substantial, he, he would have been gone. Um, he's still recovering from that labrum surgery. That's not an easy surgery, Brad. So. Um, He's doing the right thing. He wants to be with Dallas. His best friend, Brandon Cooks, is mm-hmm. on the team. I expect I mean, he's come him out to in be inventories. back unless Dallas just doesn't want him back. I don't think that's the case because they would have relayed that message to him by now, saying, hey, listen, we're not bringing you back. Go get the best deal. That hasn't happened. So we haven't heard anything, and I think that's a good thing. I think you'll, uh, at this point, if I'm him, I'm waiting until after the draft. But, you know, hey, to each his own. So I'm going to highlight this one. I think this is a good draft one that we can kind of uh, – because I, I like talking about the draft as we're getting up here now and getting to, you know, some of these guys. So Dallas Cowboys for life, 0404 says, any ca- cornerbacks you guys want to draft? Uh, I like a lot of corners. Yes. Um, I got to say there was – there's nothing that there's jumping to where I'm like, I don't want to pick other positions. But, man, there are some guys here that if we ended up getting... I don't think we're taking one in the first round. No, no, I don't no. see that as a situation. No, because I'm looking at the names. You got Terry and Arnold. He'll be gone. And then pretty much any, I mean, any one of these next ones... Um, There's like five, uh, six of them in like the, the third to five, fifth round that I really like. Yeah, I like TJ Tampa out of Iowa State. Okay. I like uh, er, uh, Rake Straw Jr. out of Missouri. Um, my guys, let me see. Uh, as you're saying yours as well. I like Creed Jackson out of Oregon. Of course, I'm an Oregon guy, but there's there but, you go. but there's a reason oh, why you know Oregon was up there was because they had you know contenders. Who I love. Yeah, what's up? I love Mike Mac, uh, Max. Uh, was it? Yeah, Max Milton. Um, no, I like Mike Sanistro out of oh, Michigan. Michigan guy, Michigan. Yeah, yeah, he's a. I like that player. And then there's a. 
Yeah, then there's one real late. Oh, you like Kyrie? Well, you got Kyrie Jackson. So when you go back there, there's like three other guys. There's like the two corners out of Florida State. Those two corners were balling all last year. Jarvis um, Brownlee out of Jarvis Louisville. And, I like him too. And Renardo uh, Green as well. Those two were balling. And then uh, Elijah Jones out of Boston College. I, I really liked his play. Um, those are guys deep in the the draft that uh, that you can end up picking up. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, I I, I really like those guys as well. Um, yeah. Th- so I think we. Again, I think um, we will get one. Um, I think that's it, a position. Yes, I definitely think that's always that's always one of those positions you take a corner. You, it's like taking a wide receiver. You know, it's just you're not surprised. Yeah, when ultra, they do it. obviously, if Terry and Arnold falls to twenty four, absolutely. <laughs> Trip, you're tripping I, over shit. <laughs> yeah, I still think that Kool Aid drops into the second. Yeah, I, know, I, that's, because that was a surprise for me, but I guess because the injury that makes more sense, right? Yeah, uh, Nate Wiggins. Uh, you know, again, he's very, very good player, but like, I, I don't I know. Fear those first uh, round corners, I do. Yeah, um, very talented guy. Just small, one hundred and seventy pounds. Uh, you know, six one, one seventy. That's about him. We definitely need one this year. To yeah, DC for life. This is my issue. Um. We need, I don't care. This is the problem. We cannot, you know, not do any more moves before the draft. We need to fill some holes. Go get me. Yeah, pause. (laughs) Yeah, bring back Gilmore. And then, okay, now it's. Yes, bring back Gilmore. Come on, man. Like you're going to draft one. Then you'll draft one because you got Bland, right? I'm looking at Dallas Cowboy Pro Shop. I'm not buying shit from them until they pull. Be pulled out their draft hats, but um, if, if you guys sign Gilmore, I will buy a Gilmore jersey. How about that, guys? I'm oh saying it now. <laughs> it's be worth Gilmore. it for the one year. It's a it's a one year jersey. What's up, EJB? <laughs> What's going on, man? It doesn't make any sense, right, Brad? Brad says I just read their comment on the top of the graphics. So very true. It is, man. It's just like it just gets me sometimes with the Joneses. You know, they they. It's like, what money are you saving? It's everybody has the same exact salary cap. It's like Jones family <laughs> massacre. That's what it is. Bowling, nice EJB. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Ultra Cowboy says draft hats are supposed to be released there on you Monday. Go, Ultra. Hmm. Yeah, I, yeah. I bought both Ooh, those colors last year. Ultra. I'm a glutton. I bought the white and the navy. Hey, EJB, would you end up bowling, man? He says, I just got home from bowling. Yeah, what's your average, bro? Let's see if you can hang with game time. No, nah, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't bowled in years, man. Game, game time's like, uh, I'm a house shit. ball guy. <laughs> yeah. just, don't take me seriously. I'm a house yeah. ball. I got to name on my ball. Pause. All right, Brunswick. Do do it with. <laughs> <laughs> I like turtles. I like turtles. <laughs> Oscar Perini, I'm here game time and prime time. Just don't want to think at this point. Oscar, yeah. I hear you, my man. You know what? You I know what you. team? Surprisingly, every time I watch the film about a guy, I I like the film, but I'm a weary of the picks. Wow, is Notre Dame? Uh, Notre Dame has a couple of guys that have popped up on my list of guys that I've seen and things, uh, and and I like their. Their style, I like it, but at the same time, I get very weary of the name Notre Dame. You know, obviously Zach Martin came from there, so that that's a great positive experience there. We're gonna go inside. We're gonna go outside. We're gonna go 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 across that goal line. But uh, they have a, they have a tackle, don't they? Uh, Blake Fisher, I think. Um, so yes. I mean, they they have some some guys on. Defense, yeah, well, they got Aldrick so Estime in the running back. Yeah. I don't like him. Uh, Cam, yes, I don't like him, Cam but, Hart, um, like that dude, Sam Hart. You're talking about Sam Hart, yeah, Sam Hart. That dude is like a supermodel. Have you seen him? <laughs> that is, a, if you say a Cowboys quarterback, that that would be the dude. That's just he's flowing super- locks and just. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, oh, how is it going slow motion in live television? It's like he just taking off his, his that motion of slow. <laughs> um, hey Twiz, get ready for your boy to be a. Uh, a Philadelphia Eagle. Ooh, 255. I'm, I'm nice. telling you now. Jeremiah Trotter, oh, Jr., six foot, 228, will be an Eagle. I'm calling it. Joe Davis. I got a funny feeling a trade with Dak might happen. Oof. Man, that would be gutsy. See, Ronnie, I, I mean, if, if a guy like that, like with his, you know, 
how old he is and stuff. I, I, if you're trying to keep injuries, and he's saying that Gilmore couldn't even start practicing until August or later, he's a guy that knows the game, so I don't yeah. really worry yeah. about him too much. It's not like uh, Eric Scott or something like that where we really haven't seen much film on him. You know, those kind of guys missing those practices. Uh, but, you know, I totally get what you're saying. Uh, we can't really rely on the fact that he's going to be 100% there for us throughout the whole season. So I totally get it. But I want him back. So that's the bottom line. I want Gilmore back for his presence in the, he's oh, Cam just Park. a good leader. Oh, you're talking about Cam. Okay, okay. Yeah, now you're talking about that's my cornerback. My bad. I thought you were talking about the, the quarterback there. For, I guess we were talking about Notre Dame. That's... Sam Hartman is the... Patrick. I can't read it because of the damn heart. I hate that. Oh, Swayze. Oh, there's yeah, the he, Pats. Yeah, he's Sam he's Hartman. That's it. He's, yeah, that's Hartman. It. So, yeah, the Cam Hart is the one from Notre Dame as well. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. There's some guys there that you're like. Uh. Yeah, but which Patrick <laughs> Swayze is he? Is he the dirty dancing Patrick Swayze or is he the roadhouse Patrick Swayze? I hope he's a roadhouse, Patrick Swayze. So that's all. (laughs) Bill's like, "Uh, I didn't see either one. No, get out of here with that, man. (laughs) Roadhouse, get out of here with that. Like, I just saw the new Roadhouse with Connor. I haven't seen. I haven't seen that one. Uh, It was pretty good. Was it? Knox, (laughs) Knox. It was I. Yeah, I'll tell you one thing. Jake Gyllenhaal was ripped. Does he? He yeah. was well. That's the thing oh, about yeah. it is like that dude. Like when he did that boxing movie, man. He. Oh yeah. Yeah, he was shredded as well. You're just like, dude. Like. And that's fine, Joe Davis. That's fine if they wait. <laughs> I like that, Crystal. That's yeah. Fine. You're gonna, you're gonna break What's that. Up? You're gonna break that like button. She's like, if you think Nick yeah. Sirianni sucks, hit that like button. Oh, he sucks. <laughs> yeah. Know why? Click, 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 he's click, 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 click. That's why he's Dracula. So yeah, so, so Ultra says Mark uh, Mark rolling up in the draft listening to two live crew. Oh shit, yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I told him to unblock you too, Ultra. So I don't know. Uh, I told him. Oh, I, so I don't know. He probably I, I forgot. Try again. I can try again here. Hold on. Well, let me do it. Why? What's he doing? I'm gonna have to figure it out. What's he know. doing? Not I'm you. Like, I'm like trying to. Like, I used to be able to do the modification stuff from here, but I can't. Oh, uh, oh, uh, It's not uh. allowing me what anymore. You, all you do is hit the side. You, like, it just won't. hit the dots. It won't let me do it. Like, you must I, I have some sort dot. of... Uh, I click on the dots, and it just click, click, clicks, and nothing comes up. Yeah, that's stupid. And that just, came out of, that just started happening. Setting. That just started happening, too. Huh. That's weird. Maybe it's something on their end. Yeah. So. I'm just like... Yeah. Because I can even do it on my cell phone when I'm on a live, so I don't know. I don't know. I fall in the well, my eyes go <laughs> crooked, get kicked by a mule, they straighten out. I don't know. Like, trust me, anyway. Sarah Tony Cowboy says, I scu- subbed a few weeks back, and YouTube keeps unsubbing me. It's, yeah, it, it, YouTube's all like, like you, don't, you don't want to yeah. listen to this guy. Trust me, man. You don't want to yeah. listen to this guy. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Ruben Walls? Man, you Where think will you, Hassan Reddick get traded to? Yeah, I, they're definitely going to trade him. I think so. I just don't understand our. He'll be a Texan. Yeah, that's that's a good one. <laughs> He'd be a Texan. That would make Houston. sense. You'd be you'd be like, okay, not nobody's going to think anything uh, twice about no. it, but Joe but Davis, they would be a hell no. of a they'd be a hell of a weapon there. Kelsey will not change his mind. He's already pounding. Now he he's already taking meetings with Amazon. He's going to be in a booth somewhere. Um, again, he, uh, you know, I'll just leave it at that. Don't expect him to unretire. Hey, Jeff Lee, what's up, buddy? Yeah, so I mean, so, so I mean, the off season's been frustrating. I mean, as a Cowboy fan, of course, Brian is is is, is mentioning. It, you know, you let things play out. You just sign your draft picks. You do going forward, and then guess what? Next year, it just blows open. We're salary cap. All of a sudden, you can sign guys now, whether Dallas will. I would imagine they would, but uh, they can't keep the same habit if you have all that money. I mean, Me other- too, Joe. What's Joe say? The oh, only no, eagle he likes is... Uh, Did you see that whole interview was uh, the center. where Jeremiah Trotter came out and uh, talking about yeah, the I jersey thing? Yeah. He would have a hard time. <laughs> I, I don't blame him, man. I don't blame He's him a either. I mean, Jeremiah Trotter... Nice player. He was yeah. drafted by Brian. He's Brian Broadus is the one that found him. 
Ultra's guy, Brian Broadus. <laughs> He's the one that drafted him uh, when he was working in the front office with the Eagles. Nobody wanted him because he was, of his injuries he had in college. Well, he drafted him, and the rest was history. So, yeah. but hey, uh, Jeremiah Trotter, a, a longtime Cowboy fan, drafted your ass and gave you a shot to maybe be a, maybe be a little more respectful <laughs> to the star. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, he's hot and cold, Vinny. You know, I like him now. I like him. There's a lot of his point of views that that's that's really yeah. Good. I don't always agree with him. He's hmm. You know, um, he gets a little butt hurt there sometimes. There you yeah, go. Some, the Clueless personal, Scout yeah. podcaster star, Brian Broaddus. That's it. <laughs> he loves him some. Uh, some I like when they're so, talking. When they're really talking about scouting and stuff, I, I really do like to hear him. I mean, I, I you can tell. You can definitely tell he's done. I like what, hearing the old stories. Part. Yeah, yeah. You know. Those, you know, again, like my, it's not I, so I much know, that he knows everything because he don't. I know you pointed out and you you pick on me for this, but like I think Dane Brugler, what an amazing like football dude. mind! I cannot dude. stand the dude. I cannot stand the dude. Like, you know, listen. Well, why? <laughs> I, um, is it the word Dane? I just I ain't him. gonna lie. Him. When just, I hear Dane, I think of a great Dane. It's just him. It's him. It's it's just and, all him. That's all it is. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's just your face. It's your Dang. face. It's like it's like. Is there anything I can do? No, nope, just your face. I just want to punch it's it. Just your face. <laughs> like, yeah. No, yeah. and I, I listen to him, and I, you know, he comes out with this amazing booklet, uh, you know, about the scouts and stuff the like beast. that. So I gotta, they call it the beast. I gotta give him credit. I mean, he goes around, he does his his work. I mean, and he's pretty he's pretty accurate as well too. So well, I'll say this about Dane. He's so good. He is in very what good. he does. He is. That most of the front offices have the beast is sitting on their table during the draft. They use that. Yeah. I wouldn't like mind getting my Bible. hands on the beast. Yeah, this year. Uh, exactly. Pause. Yes. <laughs> that was a good that was a good pause. <laughs> That's a huge bitch. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, lordy lordy, we're going off the rails. Any running backs you guys want in the draft? It's funny you should say so. What we talked about that uh, Dallas really likes Jonathan Brooks. Uh, you know, they just like Jonathan Brooks. He's the so number it starts one. The 25th. He's the number one running back in the draft. Now, he won't go number one. That'll be Trey Benson. But Brooks, but if we didn't get Brooks, I would not be upset about that because I don't know about you. Who do you like, Phil? Uh well, I might I know number who one. I is, like. Number one is obviously Trey Benson. It's just one of those guys that he he sticks out so much that yeah he's one of those ones like uh, Gibbs last year where everybody's like oh man Dallas may pick him you know I think Dallas might grab him at whatever pick you know I don't think that anybody's valuing it and then all of a sudden Detroit takes him and then you know Atlanta obviously takes uh, Robinson so I think that whole thing you know. People might want to get their running back, and Trey Vincent is one of those guys that he's a starter. He he showed that he can carry the workload at Florida State. So when I look at these guys, there's some guys that people have pointed out, like uh, the the running back from um, from Oregon. What's his um, Irving? Bucky Irving. Bucky. I don't yeah. like him as much. Um, and I'm again, this is one of my rare Oregon guys that I don't like as much. And a little dude, he definitely has a burst. If you can give him, give him some open field, just amazing. But we already yeah. have that on the roster. We don't need to have two guys with yeah. that same uh, thing. I mean, if you want to put Turpin in that mix, Turpin would be a third guy at that same kind of uh, capacity. So I don't want to bring another guy like that in. Yeah, here. yeah, 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 yeah. When I look well, at guys that. Uh, I would pick uh, three guys. Uh, Marshawn Lloyd would be a guy from USC. I really like how he plays. Um, <laughs> oh, Magoo. You've me, done it again. Meon uh, Williams, I think his name is. He's from Ohio State. And then uh, I know a lot of people are going to give me crap for this one, but I, I like Frank Gore Jr., man. Uh, yeah, I do like Frank Gore Jr. I don't. You know, I don't see him fitting with us, but I like no, the player. No, that's true. It doesn't. Obviously, Trey Benson is going to go early. I'm telling you, when I say Dirty early, Sanchez. he's going to go. He's going to go top. He's going to go to the first team he wants to back in the second round. Mm -hmm. uh, he's just going to go higher because of the Jonathan Brooks. Uh, it'll be curious to see if, if Brooks does go. So who needs a running two. back? It, did the Raiders pick up a running back? Uh, I'm because not they lost sure. Jacobs. 
Then yeah. they lost Jacobs, but I think that's the only team I to can me see that Benson really going there. That's, maybe that's, the Chargers. Or, the Chargers lost uh, Eckler, but they're picking yeah. way too high up to really go that way. Yeah. But so, okay. if you're looking, okay, just looking at it, you got Trey Benson. I know they're looking at Jonathan Brooks. I mean, Brian Schottenheimer went. He's an offensive guy. He wasn't going to look at uh, the defensive tackles. He was going to look at the wide receivers who were going to be gone. We're not going to get a chance to get either. Maybe worthy, but, <laughs> you know, I don't think that that's going to happen. Um, so he went to look at Jonathan Brooks. So I don't know if they have a, oh, my God, we hope he slips to the third round. He, he ain't. So That'd if you want Jonathan pick. Brooks, you need, you need to, you know, to take him with that number two. But if – we wait, or somebody takes him. Then you got, like, who do you like? Braylon Allen. I love Braylon Allen. I really Braylon. do. Bigger guy. Yep. Kind of reminds me, and don't, just in his stat, uh, I'm not even going to say it because people <laughs> think I'm crazy, but I don't know that Will he's going to necessarily fit. There's a lot of people um, like Will Shipley from Clemson, right? I mean, yeah. There's a lot of guys. I'm keep... not a Blake Corum guy, so I will pass on him, like, and Phil, like Bucky Irving, not so much. Yeah. Aldrich Estime, I'm not a big fan of him either. There's a guy. Now, they did work out Jalen Wright. I don't I don't know about it. I mean, what do you think about Jalen Wright out of Tennessee? I'm not I mean, a big fan of him. I think he's a starter caliber. You know uh, who I love? I'm just going to put it out here. I love Marshawn Lloyd. I love right. at a USC. Yep, yep. Uh, that'd be my back. That's, that's my second. That's the guy that's you my don't second. have to get until round four. Yeah. If yeah. you had a fourth. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah, I, mean, I he's like a how he plays. Shorter guy, but he's, he's so freaking like, explosive. Like, watch him play. He it, he looks bigger than what he his size. Yeah. Is. yeah well, he's two twenty. Yeah. So <laughs> it's not like he's not big. And there's another guy, and this guy is going to go higher than a lot of people think. This Isaac Garendo. Out of Louisville, he's six foot two twenty one. He's the guy that ran a four three at the combine. Um, really, really fast, but he's one of those track guys where he doesn't get the top. I mean, he can run a forty fast, but his short time isn't well, the that, best. So okay, well that's kind of like what you see, like Tennessee. Tennessee loves to draft those type of guy. That's where they got a guy like Chris Johnson all of a sudden pushing their yes, their guy yes, out of the, exactly. the starting lineup because they that's had the who, speed. Yeah. So definitely a Chris Johnson type. So I would be obviously Trey Ben. I'm with Phil. Trey Benson. I mean, just getting back to the question here, I don't think they're going to be able to sniff uh, Trey Benson. The only way they would, I don't see them getting Trey Benson. I just don't uh, because he's not going to drop. He's going to go maybe 30s, early 40s, and we have too many other needs. This is where our True, the right. this is where our team has let us down and not mm. filling in some of these holes because they're going to go for need. They just are. So, you know, I don't think we're going to be able to trade up for Trey Benson. So expect a Jonathan Brooks. I think Braylon Allen's going to go high, too. Or then we're getting into the, if you like Jalen Wright or a Marshawn Lloyd, I would be all in for that. So, yeah. yes, um, weird as it is, but that's who I like. Yeah, but, I mean, there's some guys here that you can get through Sanchez, the year I'm not. with. I'm, I'm not going to build, like, unless you get, yeah, Benson I could build a future with. Lloyd I could build one. Uh, maybe Williams as well, yeah. too. But, I mean, those guys, again, those are kind of the pieces that are going to fill in until the next following year where you can actually make a dent into some of this uh, these needs, you know? Yeah, David Cowboy. The only problem I see with Corum is when you watch him, he never, now, again, either did Emmett Smith, but he don't run away from anybody. He always gets caught from behind. And, um, you know, if I'm going to draft a running back, um, you know, I'd like to have somebody with some explosion. So Maybe those are type of guys, man. Those are our type of guys. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah. Lots, the lots quiz of... likes Jalen Wright. So there you go. Like I said, they worked him out, Twiz. I know you're an Eagle fan, but Dallas did work him out. What does Ultra think? The new operation game is based on. Oh shit! Wow! Wow! <laughs> wow! I just, yeah, I got that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> All they right. Strike out in the draft. Trade a twenty. 
a 25th fifth round pick for Damien. Yeah, that's right. You like a, a Damien Pierce. Yeah, so I mean, to me, there, there's definitely some guys here that you can get excited. I mean, even in, in positions you may not be thinking about. Um, to me, I, I I'm not thinking about a defensive end, but there's a lot of them in here that I wouldn't be I wouldn't be too disappointed if they go and got that. But again, with what you have in the roster, it just seems like that's kind of like not the need that you, you know, because there's some depth there there is you know you're already losing guys like fowler of course armstrong but you're filling those those positions in with other guys like fahoko you know obviously needs to just prove himself but a guy good early on i had slipping just based on he's kind of raw but he'll probably be the first edge rusher gone now is is dallas turner but i don't think he's the best pass uh, rusher he doesn't have a lot of weapons in his arsenal as far as pass rush moves he's just kind of a great athlete but uh, you know but you got Leatu Latu uh I think he's the best I don't know um not real it was my live stream my light my internet is getting kind of got weak yeah, there I for a moment see that so you might want to wrap yeah. it off soon yeah but uh Jared Verse I love Chop Robinson I don't know a lot about I know he's another raw person Brad if you know Yes, Brad, we need to draft new owners. I agree with you, my man. <laughs> I wish. Um, I wish we could do that whole trade. Like, I like, like I did, Robinson. Okay. I will admit, like, there was a point. You know, there's always these rules that come along, and you, and, you, and things happen in the NFL, and you're like, wow, I didn't know that was possible. Uh, it wasn't until, like, the Raiders traded off Gruden to the Buccaneers that I did not know that you could trade coaches, you know? And so, yeah, I mean, right. that would be amazing if you could trade owners as well. But, uh, <laughs> like... At least sell it off, but they know they have they know they have themselves a gold mine here, so they're not getting rid of it anytime soon. I wanted to ask Phil a question. What do you think about Brandon Dorless, the edge rusher out of Oregon? Um, you like him? I no, um, not as much as some of the other ones. Um, well, I yeah, I just mean like a later, a little later. Well, yeah, if like you're gonna get him third way, round way, type guy. That's still too much rich for my blood. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but you know, I, I don't know. I think he he has a limited uh, amount of. I, I guess he's like, kind of like Parsons in the sense that his yeah. his, his. I was just asking because I'm, I'm not saying to see him more and more. I'm not. I'm not trying um, to say he's like Parsons since he's a beast. I'm. Not, I'm saying like when Parsons was coming out of college, you saw a lot of his plays where he didn't make a whole lot of those moves, you know. And so it just seemed like he's a little bit uh, doesn't hold, yeah. have a lot of arsenals there. And so I mean, obviously that could change. Um, but you know, man, that was two Oregon guys that I kind of put down. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh. Bo Nix, go ahead. I'll. You could. Uh, when is Bo Nix going? What round does Bo Nix go? Uh, man, I see. To me, well, Bo Nix is a first round draft pick, first round draft uh, choice. But no, I would say sec at late second, yeah, maybe I would say second. third, early third. I would third. say second. Yeah, so you know I mean, how it works, man. You yeah. know how it works in this game. They all get everybody wants a quarterback. So I think he goes in the second round somewhere, maybe third, maybe. But um, very curious to see now. You now you're seeing rumblings that Minnesota wants to no trade problem. up to go get JJ McCarthy. Now, like I told you, I mean. Listen, nothing against McCarthy, but his accuracy is horrendous. They didn't so, learn uh, anything from Mac Jones? Like, yeah, I, I mean, I, it's I mean, a gamble. Whatever, Here's the man. thing: Here, it's a gamble. And obviously, if you if it's your guy, go get your guy. You know, I I get that whole thing, but at the same time, like with these quarterbacks that are coming out, I see there's no, no guarantee that anything's happening with your first round draft pick. So to give up you know, all that capital that you could put around him. Um, it just it just seems to be kind of two things that are opposite of each other, you know. Okay, I'm getting a young uh, quarterback, but I'm also giving away draft picks to to get guys here to help him. So, yeah, Twiz, that's what I did uh, in one of my mocks. I ended up with uh, Jackson Powers Johnson. I ended up with Devondre Sweat, and I ended up with uh, I forget what running back, but yeah. So. Oh man, what if Raiders means- miss out on moving up for a QB then offer? Mm-hmm. The thirteenth and forty four, you trade Dak, your cap hit will be sixty million. It won't let me like now click on the people. Hmm. Wow, that's weird. This, yeah, this whole thing's going to hell. 
<laughs> I gotta figure out. Another, <laughs> I gotta figure out another way to display people's uh, comments because this is not like yeah. Each week is just happening now. So, um, but no, it, and I really wanted kind of like to put this one out there just in the sense that like uh, to document it really because you know I, you know we we talk about the Joneses and their habits and stuff and it, it, nothing's changed. I mean, there's some things where they they're a little bit more serious about certain conversations, but in the overall, oh, we like to go through the draft and. You know, but we all know as true cowboy fans, yes, I we love our guys too. We want to keep our guys. We, we, you know, there's a big chunk of us that love Dalton Schultz, but we understand that you're not going to be able to pay everybody, and there's some people that you need to let walk away. And you know, it's not always going to be the ones that we agree with. Uh, obviously, we all, as a cowboy nation, a majority, big majority of us want Gilmore back. We want a Hankins back. But those were pieces they were ready. You know, whether I, I think Gilmore is in that mix. But just pieces that they were ready to give a walk away from. To me, with the Gilmore yeah. one, that one stings a little bit more because you gave up something uh, as a draft pick in a future uh, that you could have started three, four years with someone for something that you really didn't finish out anything because you didn't finish out trying to go for an extra piece that year. You really kind of just yeah, you made that trade mediocre by the by your reaction later on. So I, I, I think that's just kind of what they're doing. They're following up maybe a trade that they feel good about, but with their reactions later on by not following it up with something better, that, that's just where they're falling uh, behind You know, the rest of the NFL. Everybody else is improving. We're just kind of staying the same. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know what I'm looking forward to when we go to the draft there, Phil, is are the Giants going to go for a quarterback? When they should probably take a receiver. Uh, I How much you want to bet they go for a quarterback? I just have a, a weird feeling. I think they're if they're take... smart, they, they, they pick a good piece, like a wide receiver, a, a, a offensive lineman, defensive lineman in that first yeah. round. Yeah. Then in what... the second or third, then you pick up that quarterback. You know, yeah. Then nobody's expecting that Can quarterback to get to you a Bo Nix. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, 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 no. I don't want to hate Bo. I don't want to hate Bo. Good hands. Oh, yeah. So, I hear you. So. But anyway, so, anything else we really want to talk about? We're about to, about to hit the hour. My internet's going yeah. all wonky. Yeah, your internet's going wonky. I think it's good. No, nah, man. Like, we're, you know, we'll hit it on, on Wednesday and then again on next Saturday. Uh, hopefully, we have some news regarding some more players. But, no, nah, man, just, uh, you know, we're less or we're right about what? How many days away now? We're uh, man, we're about tw- uh, thirty-two or thirty yeah, something like that. Yes, so we're you know a little over a month away from da na 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 yeah draft day. Oh, so. you, what are you talking about? Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's it at? Where's yeah. it at? Golly. That's it. Yeah, I, I, love that I, had to, I had to blow off the dust on that button there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but now, nah, man, I'm good. I'm good. Well, I got a new closing. Uh, the other closing that I had, uh, basically, got I uh, was trying to get hit with a copyright uh, somehow with the music and stuff like that. So, right now, I have a, a new. Per- I got a person that's going to be conducting a song, just like much of the first the beginning opening was my little brother. Of course, KT Pepe uh, giving a nice shout out to me on Instagram. So I appreciate that uh, as well. I appreciate anybody coming through from Brian's channel. I know Brian is really kicking ass over there, uh, you know, day in, day out. He's he's giving videos, he, you know, lunch breaks. He's, you know, just shoving it 30, you know, while he's while he's driving so he can like be on the uh, on the broadcast for those half hours. So I know a lot of people appreciate that. And those numbers are really good, man. Your numbers are doing well. Thanks, man. I'm, I'm really, uh, you know, I'm trying. That's all I can do is, do is do what I can do. I got a full-time job, so it's not the easiest of always getting stuff out there. You know that. So, uh, just, you know, trying to get it done, man. I think uh, I got goals in my head. We'll see. We'll see. I'll see. <laughs> Well, if you're somehow going over to this channel before you go to his channel, check out Game Time Brian. Uh, I have his link in the description as well, so you can see. Hopefully, uh, somebody can put uh, at some point into the chat. But 
as well, what I what I and I should be pinning yours in the beginning, like you kind of do on mine. Um, but what I wanted to say was, I have somebody that's going to be, you know, putting some music together for the end. So I'm going to be putting some kind of new uh, video at the end of the draft. Of course, some new footage when we go there, kind of much like last year. But so, uh, you know, I'm just going to close out with this one temporarily in the next, well, I guess month, right? Really, you know, like you yeah, said. Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, thank you guys for coming through. Thank you for taking crap, uh, talking about your team. I, you know, how do you feel about your uh, your free agents? I know if you're a Cowboy fan, not feeling great. But do you feel, you know, like Brian? I mean, Brian makes a great point in the sense of the people that we have lost. Do you feel that, like, oh my gosh, this is going to be the most, you know, this is going to be the worst season of all because of all these stars that we lost? You know, no, no, it, it's great for future picks. Like next year, I know I get excited about that. Uh, so next year's stuff, you know, there's a lot of picks, there's a lot of money, uh, but we got to get through this whole uh, season before we even get to that point. So, uh, Brian. We'll get on. To, we'll jump onto your channel next uh, Wednesday, right? Wednesday night, Hump Day Live, baby. So again, I appreciate everybody coming through. And one thing I appreciate you not forgetting to do is ring that bell. Damn right, people. Have a great, great night, and we'll see you then. Who are you? Like always, I'm your host, Primetime Phil. What kind of a stupid name is that? Oh, they let you pick any name you want when you get down there. <laughs> and what is your name, sir? Well, I told you my name, man. Sir, what's your name? It's my co-host, Game Time Brian. Cool name. Superpowers? I haven't relaxed. I'm ready for a wild show. What would you say you do here? I don't know what it is yet, but it could be a lot of things. So we'll see. This doesn't make any sense. Nah, nothing makes sense here, man. You think what I'm thinking, part? Yeah, let's f***ing rage! Yeah, okay, cool. I don't need the PBS special. What the f*** is this piece of Can you say what the f did I do last night? <laughs>